Okay, so what I'm going to start by doing here is bearing the wires. Because it's a good and a bolt, I'm going to take quite a bit off them and leave myself quite a wee bit of bit to play with to go in the boat. Okay. Straight away I need one yell from LED. And if you're using these wee blocks, just try and get the entire edge of the wire right in. Then I'll leave sort of wire hanging and try and get it right up to the hilt. Right, that's one thing. Can you see that? This is the It's right up to the hilt. There's no bare wire hanging out. Now, I've got my black ready. That's the one that will feed the, the units. Now, get the wires out the road. So we're only dealing again with the wires that we need. I've bared another two negatives. One for my switch, which actually needs to come up through here before we forget. And one for my other LED. Now what that leaves us at this point is in this unit here, this ATX box, what represents the power on switch and what one represents the LED indicator. In that old one it was purple, in this old one it was a green, but we don't have them in this as you can see. So. We go back to that guy's book, or the uh, booklet thing, and we go through it and we find out the colour codes. Okay, what we've got is, in this power unit, the brown wire represents my light on for my power coming on at the back power on standby, that's the amber light, comes through the brown wire and the power switch on is the grey wire in this unit and if you look you'll see the green light coming on when I put it to the switch because I've got the switch on at the moment, there's the unit running. We have power. Okay, right. Cooking with gas. And that's taking only what? 20 minutes. So, if you're going to do this, I would really advise you get a wee 
set of these blocks and just set it out right for yourself because you will go through a few of them without a doubt it's a huge learning curve and then again it depends on what you're doing with them I just tend to shove them the full road and if you can stick to what the amperage says on the side of the box 12 volts is usually about 10 amps if you can stick to the amperage recommended on the box you'll not go far wrong as I said I tend to shove them over And all we're going to do now is the ones we haven't used we'll take a couple of cable ties and just tidy them up put that in a bit better I think shove it right in there and just tidy them up and get them out of the way right let's turn that off for a minute in this one. Oh, there, see. Okay, you see what I've done? I've just rolled everything up, put a cable tie on them, put a bit of black tape on them to insulate them, isolate them, whatever. Um, and now, if I go, only go in here, what I'm using and what I need. I pop my LEDs back in, pop my switch back in, bring the box up, just check it be turning it on. That power on should be in the back. These just pull out, pop it in the wee holes. I got the we things of a computer as well to stand by that. Just put them in a wee bit of box. There we go. We have power. I'll just connect these back up and help us see it running. Can you see how that's done there? It's wrapped right around. And it's in between two washers, one bottom, one top. So when I tighten the bolt on this side, it squeezes it nice and tight, gets a firm fit. Firm fit means no heat, <laughs> you know? Okay. I'll let you see it running in a minute. Okay, I'm running out of disk space, but we throw the switch. And we have power. My voltmeter reading 11 volts. I'm afraid I fried my wee amp meter this morning on the car. It just hit up there, it went boom, <laughs> burnt out. I burnt this wire out as well. Maybe it's the wire that's gobbed. I'll check it. But there you go, I have power and it's 10 oil about maybe 35 40 minutes or something. So it isn't that major difficult just get the wires out the road that you don't need and make a hard copy of that I can't impress on you enough print out a copy of that website that I'm, that I'm giving you I'll put it up again at the end here you find it very handy it's a bit confusing at the very first one it might take you an hour or something but with the second, third, fourth it pretty much becomes